Oh man. <laughs> okay. So I've updated my iPhone 10 with the new Live Link Face app. And some sad news, guys. Uh unfortunately, so what you're seeing here is my iPhone 10. I am like streaming it over to my desktop. And unfortunately, I don't think I'm gonna be able to use this for with a meta human animator. Reason being, watch this. So if you have an iPhone 10, go ahead and update the app, the live link face app on the app store. And then when you click open, guess what? There are two modes that now are available. One is the original capture mode for live link face. And they are saying that this uses Apple's error kit framework to capture animation on device. Outputs blend shape data that can be streamed to Unreal Engine over local network. So, which means that, uh, you know, if you still have, if you still want to use uh, the live link face, uh, you're going to be able to still use it, right? To run the meta humans and add facial animation and record it in, and to render in uh, mental, uh, the <laughs> movie render queue. However, if you switch to meta human animator, and remember, MetaHuman Animator is only available for the Unreal Engine 5.2. It's not going to work in 5.1 or bef before that. So if you intend to use this, then it's saying that my device, this iPhone 10, is not supported. So it says your service, your device model is unsupported for MetaHuman Animator capture. You may continue, but your results could be affected. So, man, so I thought I was going to be able to use my iPhone 10, but it looks like uh, it's not supported and uh, purely I mean, because it's an older model for sure. And uh, the performance of the meta human animator is going to require a really good uh, platform to work well. And I think they are trying to get the best result out of it. So what I did is I went to the Apple website and just looked at uh, the differences in phones. They have this uh, ability to compare iPhone models. So if you have an iPro, iPhone 14 pro max well that's the high end so i'm thinking you could actually go down like maybe like a app just a basic iphone 14 or even uh like iphone 13 because iphone 10 if you scroll all the way down i mean you can see the differences in terms of uh, uh the specs but the most important thing is i think it comes with these cameras you know and also the chip that is on board that you're going to get better performance with especially with the depth uh, sensing cameras and also the this chip right here so you can see the iphone 10 has an a11 bionic chip and the iphone 13 has an a15 bionic chip and the iphone 14 uh, has a16 bionic chip so though if you compare those three there's an issue with the here you get a two core neural engine here you're getting 16 core neural engine same with the, the iphone 14 so that's why i think my iphone unfortunately isn't going to be supported and uh disappointed but i i understand <laughs> i see why they would want to focus on the higher end uh, machines but it looks like well i may have to just use my iphone 10 for live link air kit and I'm going to have to upgrade to a newer phone so I can use the MetaHuman Animator. And so I encourage you to consider before the MetaHuman comes out, MetaHuman Animator comes out, that you may have to go, I don't know if you can get like a refurbished uh, version, iPhone 13 or 14, but clearly iPhone 10 is going to gonna, you know, <laughs> work. And that is disappointing. So guys, so let me show you the different modes that are, uh, the new live link face app comes with so the moment you click open over here so you're going to get these two options hopefully you have a newer iphone that you'll be able to use and i'm not sure if android is ever going to be supported but i'm really really hoping that at some point that uh, this can be supported on the android phones as well so if you click on uh, live link face and you say continue so you're going to go into the camera mode right if you want to switch back go to this settings over here and click on live link and switch back to meta human and then continue right so and you can see the settings change as well and you can do 60 frames per second if you want and you can have the record button there if you want uh, you can preview the depth and the video quality over there right 
and then click done. So as you can see here, the configured target frame rate is not available on this device for the current capture mode. So let's go back and uh, switch back to 30 frames per second and say done. So you can actually see it's okay. So here's the thing, even though my iPhone 10 is not supported, but you can see the preview of the depth, right? And I'm gonna do something real quick. I have a, a character, like a, a face of a, let me just, just a second. All right, so over here, I have this uh, mannequin that I'm using as a test to preview the depth. So you can see, <laughs> the face so i am i think that the newer phones are probably gonna have a better depth camera but this is the preview that you get when you use the new iphone the new plugin the live link face app you get a preview of the depth and that is uh the face of the character so clearly with the uh <laughs> probably newer phones you're gonna get better quality but right now this is all i'm getting from the iphone 10 so they tell you that they warn you to continue. I mean, you can continue, but the quality might not be as, I mean, what you would want as a result. So if I switch back to the live link mod over here, live link arrow kit mod, let's test this one. So there is the, Okay, so you can see it's, it's okay, let me try this again <laughs> over here. All right, so it's able to detect the face and you're able to see the details of uh, the character. So if that were a face talking, you'd actually be able to see, but I'm using this uh, mannequin as an example, so we can test that, right? And then when I switch back, to the meta human mode over here. Get done. And we do the preview. That is what you get. So I can't wait to test this with a, a newer phone. So I'll probably try to get like a refurbished iPhone 13 or iPhone 14 and see what's good. So anyway, guys, <laughs> that's what I wanted to share with you to show you what the it looks like in the iPhone uh, with the new Live Link Face app. So you get a sense of uh, what is coming. But I'm excited that the uh, MetaHuman Animator is around the corner. Even though my iPhone 10 looks like it's not supported, uh, at least I know that the uh, MetaHuman Animator is on the way. We got this hope. And so make sure that you go back and update your version. If you can go to the version history, make sure it's uh, version 1.30. So thank you so much guys for joining me again today. Uh, for all of you out there who are using the iPhone 10, unfortunately, <laughs> well, we're, we're out of, uh, I think it's not, it's not gonna work. You just have to update to a new phone to be able to take advantage of uh, the meta human animator, but it's exciting. You know, this is a good indication that the meta human animator is about to be released and to get quality as good as the character you see on the left hand side there. So I'm excited, disappointed, but still excited. So I encourage you guys, make sure you update your Live Link Face app to the newest version. And also consider getting a new phone to be able to get the awesome, awesome facial animation that you see on the left-hand side. All right, see you next time. As always, dare to dream big. And I'm always looking around for you know updates that can help you on your uh, journey to create uh, short films. And in this case, we're using MetaHumans that are super realistic, they're very easy to customize. And now they're adding the ability to create awesome, awesome facial animation. So see you next time. Please stay safe. I'm always, always praying for you. Much love to each and every one of you. Bye for now.